Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our virtual Bus to Business initiative focused on connecting students with employers. So today we're taking a virtual field trip. My name is Condrad Daniels, president of HJI Supply Chain Solutions, and we provide uh, 3PL solutions to supply chain challenges. So all that means is getting things from where they're made to where they end up. Um, so having a good job is important and it gives us a chance to do something we like and know how to do. It also helps make sure we get a paycheck, which, which helps us pay our bills and buy the things that we need and the things that you kids want. Today, we're going to talk with Joyce Griffith about their job and what their business does. So Joyce, what is your job and what does your business do? My job here at the hospital is I get to help take care of patients. And the way I do that is I am what's called the chief nursing officer. So that means that I um, am the boss of the nursing staff and the, uh, the CNAs and the respiratory techs who go into patients' rooms and take care of them. Um, the business that we work at is the Appalachian Regional Healthcare, and specifically we work at the Weisberg Hospital. Although there's lots of other things that you can do in the healthcare, we take care of the patients who are admitted into the hospital. Joyce, what are some subjects kids should work really hard to be able to do your job um, or work you know, at, at the hospital? Of course, all subjects in school are important. Um, each one means something to everyone because you know, without English, you can't write a good paper. Um, but in the medical field, math and science are the two big subjects. You have to know the world of science to understand the human body. And you have to know the world of math so you can add up how much medication or how fast an IV should go. Great, so math and science students. Where do you go to do your job? I get to go to the hospital on most days. And um, depending on where you work at, it'll be within ARH. It could also be at the doctor's office, at a clinic, um, or it could be someone coming to your home, such as home health, or our equipment company could bring you things that you would need to take care of yourself at home. Wonderful. So what are some of the most important things people should do to prepare themselves to work at a hospital? Go to school. <laughs> That's the, the simple uh, preparation is to go to school, get a good education, and figure out what you want to do in life. Um, because you will have to be the one to decide if you're going to go to nursing school, are you gonna go to med school, do you wanna take x-rays? You know, just what do you want to do and study and just give it your all. Well, nurses have to study because they're there to heal and they can't heal unless they know what exactly needs to happen and what treatment needs to happen. So what do you have to wear? Um, what type of special uniform? What equipment's at your job? With nursing, we get to wear, our uniform is what's called scrubs and um, different colors, you know, uh, different designs. Um, and that's with the healthcare in general. Most people in the hospital do wear scrubs. Um, as a nurse, we get to use lots of equipment from the scanners like you see at Walmart and that you scan your uh, groceries or your toys with up to 
big machines that will help keep uh, help will help people breathe. So we get to have a lot of equipment. We get to use a lot of equipment, and uh, you, so you have to go to school to learn how to do that. Wonderful. Well, thank you. We really appreciate your time, Joyce, and giving the kids an opportunity to see what it's like uh, to work in a hospital and all the exciting things that go on there. Thank you.